Got original 1970 Plymouth AM radio. Uh, this is original radio. And uh, what we've done is a complete cleanup on the front end, polished all the knobs and the push buttons, and a full Aurora design conversion. It now has AM FM stereo, four channels out, 45 watts a channel. It's got a pre out on it if you want to add a sub. Uh, it's got auxiliary in, which is automatic. I'll be demonstrating that. Uh, USB port. This is your USB port you'll be getting auxiliary in here. USB with a thumb drive with a video on it and music. This will also charge your phone and your devices. Comes in this mount, or you can mount it in a round hole. Uh, push button operated and it has Bluetooth. Uh, hand free phone calls, screaming your music, voice command, voice assistance. This little radio will also scan your station and has voice ID. It will scan stations on AM and FM, voice ID for any of it. Uh, we're going to demonstrate a little. Right now you're on FM. Got an operating LED here and a stereo LED. Got all your push buttons working like they're supposed to. Unaware. And save up to so I put those through the law enforcement office and everything that happened. Influenced by Bolden, so they took me in on Bolden telling lies. Bass and treble like you've always had. Now we've got uh, four speakers up to it, so we have balance and fader built in our toner. Uh, every time you turn this radio on, it knows how many speakers it's running. So if you have two, you'll have balance here. If you've got three or more, you'll have balance and fader. Uh, it does not require 12 volt consistent. There's no memory to worry about, no batteries change. Uh, take your battery out of your car, put it back in, it'll go back, back to doing what we had it done. First thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to, uh, you wanna go to AM radio, you just simply turn it off and right back on. Take it to AM radio and many more. Take a ride on guitars. Layla's honky tonk. Right in the auditorium. Here in Nashville. Back off and right back on. Takes you right back to FM stereo. So a Alright, next thing we want to do is we want to put this radio in scan mode. You can do this going down the road and let it find a station for you. All you do is take your, your tuning knob and turn it up twice. Scanning for stations. I think you know. That's going to start scanning the station without the needle moving, and I'll show you how to lock on one. Actually, even find where that station is located in case you want to set a preset up. Michael Harrington, SRN News. And then we'll do the voice ID. Families of survivors. Through its Gathering the Fragments program, the Yad Vashem organization has collected some 250,000 items. And oh, 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 for a cause at the right for Say we like that station now. All we do is turn and take the tuning knob. Go one more. Cycling experience and family friendly. That's our thing. And six, nine, take the tuning knob, turn it one time, and she'll hold it for you. Station hold. Now it's going to hold that station, but as soon as she says that, if you want to start moving it, you'll find where that station's at. There it is. Pull it out, preset it. Now you've got an AM radio from 1970, you want to know where you're at on FM, and it will do this on AM and FM. Just take the volume knob, turn it up three times. And the fun of Dollywood's new what? FM 92.9. That's great if you're looking for a specific station to let you know where you're at. From Linda Mood Bell Learning Center. Multiply. Now we're going to do uh, trouble and we're going to show you how the balance and fader work. And from the Annie E. Casey Foundation. She will help you out, Liz. That's what I like about it. 
When someone leaves prison, they have hope for a new life. Now you got wide open trouble, wide open base. Just take it back about halfway. And we're going to go into fader first. We're going to go clockwise with the toner control, like a 12 and 2 motion. She's going to come on and say fader just as long as you're moving this. And that, after she says that, you can fade from front to rear till you find what you want. When you find it, just stop. She'll set it. Then after that, we're going to go opposite direction, counterclockwise, and go into bounce. This is 90.3 WP. Fader adjust. 1.5 WTMS Oklahoma and 91.7 WHRS Cookville. Get the latest stories from WPLN News throughout the day. As long as I'm moving this, it will stay in that mode. Radio via Twitter and Facebook at WPLN.org. You can also find schedules for all of our program channels and listen to a live stream of any of our programming online. Rears, fronts. Connecting with Nashville Public Radio at WPLN.org. Before we start today's show, we want to let you know that this episode contains graphic descriptions of human right, remains that may not it. be suitable for you. Fader set. Wait, you're the. I was hoping to have a little music on there. There we go. All right, back on treble and bass. All right, let's go into balance. We're gonna go counterclockwise. One, two. Balance adjust. Right side. Left side. Balance it out where I like it. Nine here, all four speakers. Let her set it. Balance set. Back on treble and bass. Like know where we're at? One, two, three. FM 89.5. There we go. All right, that's how that works. That's pretty cool. Uh, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to uh, do auxiliary in. You'll get a male to male cord like this. I'm going to put a little uh, iPod on it. You can plug anything into it. Your phone, uh, satellite radio, CD changer, anything that puts out a signal to head. All you do is just plug it in and bring your device up and hit play. A little light went to green. Once you're in the auxiliary in, you want to go back to radio, just simply turn that device off. In 20 seconds, the radio will automatically go back to radio where we had it set if you don't touch it, because you might be putting up your stuff or doing whatever. If you decide to cut that 20 seconds shorter, just turn it off and back on like you're cycling from AM to FM. It remembers where you're at. We're going to let it automatically change over. There it goes. That's how your auxiliary in works. From MTSU's College of Media and Entertainment. Now we're going to run our Bluetooth in. Murfreesboro, and we're going to pair it up. You'll do the same thing. Pair up your Bluetooth. Come bring your phone. Make sure it's on Bluetooth. And this push button, I like it. Some some people are not not fond of it. I like it. You can do the same thing with the push button. You can do with your knob. So. If you got this down on a console somewhere where you can just get your finger on it, you won't have to reach up and touch the radio. But it will do everything. I can pair to put it in pairing mode with the volume knob or with the push button. Let's let her help us out and pair it up. Hold it down. Bluetooth ready to pair. Alright, showed up on the phone. All we're gonna do is tap on it. She'll tell us when it's done. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. Alright, we're connected up. Uh, so now every time you get in this car, it'll, it'll take multiple devices, it's always pick number one. So we're going to shut it off for a few minutes, and you shouldn't have to pair it up but once. And we're going to fire it up with the phone, make sure she finds it. Bluetooth connected. There we go. Alright, now. You get two mics, you get one's extendable, because sometimes these uh, classic cars or whatever you want. These cars, you want to get some loud mufflers, make them sound good. So you got an extra antenna, just plug it in where it says mic and run it closer to you. If not, you have one built right behind this push button right here. And we're going to check it out. We're going to do a voice command. We're going to hold the button down, or I can do it on here. Hold the button down, bring our phone back up. Play music. Now it's going to go to music on Where's my phone. Tom? 
shuffled. I'm going to go here so we can watch what we're doing. Alright, say so we want to advance our songs. We can use the button or the tuning knob. One time to advance it. Twice to back up or repeat. Or we can take, turn it up. I can also do it with the push buttons by advancing the needle or back. The only two things in life that make it worth Phone call comes in, it'll override everything. Anything the radio's doing, you'll hear your phone call. She'll come on and say, incoming call. You'll hear it start to ring. You can press the push button once to answer the call or take the tuning knob and turn it up one click to answer your call. When you're done, just let the phone hang up. It'll go back to doing whatever you had the radio doing. If you want to end the call, press the button twice or turn the tuning backward down one. It'll end the call. Now, we push this to bring our phone up. Let's go back to radio by using the, the uh, volume knob. One, two. There we go. Stop music. Put it in pause, right back to radio. Stretch pants, women's... That's how your Bluetooth and everything works. Now we're going to do the thumb drive, and a lot of people like to hide these. Ain't no need it sticking out because you can operate it all from here. You'll get one of these with this uh, video on it, some music, and the files are built for you. All you got to do is add to it or take off the junk I put on it. And just plug it in and go straight to it. The light changes colors. Only Same way as operating your phone, you can operate the push button. Once to advance, twice to back up or repeat. Tuning knob. I can do it with the push buttons. Good sign and radio, good clear. Now, we want to go to pause. We can use the volume knob too. We went up for our phone. Go up twice, summon your phone, let them go down twice for the USB. So we're gonna do it a couple times. We're gonna hold this down one second. Put this in pause right back to radio. It'll cycle back around. The light's gonna blink a few times. All right. I can hold this down one second to bring the thumb drive back up. Now, it depends on how long you leave it down, whether it goes the same song or not. We're going to use the volume knob to bring it back up. We're going to take it and turn it down twice. Right back to the thumb drive. Down twice, put it back in pause, right back to radio. Once you get used to working it, it's pretty well, it'll come all to you. But it's a nice, clean 1970 radio. AM with a full roar design and I appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you.